Welcome to a very special video and we're, why is it special? Because we're going to take a look at a really incredible, incredible bottle of whiskey. And what is it? It's the Ardbeg 1965-2005. It really is a sensational and beautiful bottling. Now, you may think of Ardbeg as being the king of the no age statement nonsense releases, you know, like the where they bury a cask in a bog and release it as an NFT or all the committee releases that vaguely change each year, but meh. But there's a reason why Ardbeg do that, and we're going to get to that at the end of the video. But back in the day, 2005, Ardbeg released this, and this is the 1965-2005 bottling. The whiskey is a very rare bottling. It's the oldest Ardbeg that has ever been bottled by the distillery in terms of vintage. So it's from the 1965 vintage, and it was a vatting of two casks. It was bottled in 2005 at 42.1% and it was pretty expensive. It even had its own flash website when it was released. We don't know the exact price in 2005, but in 2008, and this is pre the whiskey boom by many, many years, it was for sale for £6,000 and we'll put that up on screen now. Now, at the end of the video, I'm going to explain again why we're going to see more of these super premium releases and why we've not seen many to date. But this is the king of super premium presentation. So first of all, it comes in a big black case. This is the top of the case. And then obviously we'll put on screen now, when you unbox it, you end up with essentially this beautiful presentation of the bottle in this glass presentation dome, which looks like a museum display case. And the glass, everything about it is just phenomenal and beautiful presentation. There's a few interesting things about the bottle itself. There's no obvious branding on the front apart from a glass button that sits on the shoulder of the bottle or just below the shoulder of the bottle. And all the details about the whiskey are engraved into the back of the bottle. And then the wax capsule is stamped with the limited edition bottle number, which is echoed on the presentation plaque at the front. Now, it's quite hard for me to pick this up, this bottle and show you, but hopefully all this footage that we're putting on screen now is showing you what an awesome bottle this is. Now, of course, if you want to buy this, we've got it for sale on the Mark Little Limited shop. So if you're interested in buying and selling rare whiskey, head over there because you'll find many awesome bottles like this. And if you're enjoying this video, give us a thumbs up. Now, it's interesting that this was just after the time that the distillery was taken over, several years after the distillery was taken over. And they came out all guns blazing. Now, we mentioned that this bottle had its own website built for it there. It was all in flash, so unfortunately we can't get an archive of it now but it had its own website. It even had its own video ad. And it's it's, it's very sort of tongue in cheek, as you probably know Ardbeg still are to this day. Now, it's a parody of a very famous Chanel ad, and we'll put a little bit of this on screen now. And then Ardbeg basically did their own take and put their own, and we'll put a bit of this on screen now. Again, this is very early in the days for Ardbeg's advertising, and they, they still remain that sort of tongue in cheek style, but they went all out with this. You know, video ads at that time, 2005, weren't cheap. Websites weren't cheap to produce at this point. You know, they went all out for the celebration of this bottle. Now, the presentation itself is twofold for me. Yeah, I don't know whether they're taking the piss or whether they're trying to make, be really serious because. You know, looking at that video in point, the, the, the two video ads there, they're taking the mick. You know, we know they're taking the mick. And then are they saying, or were they saying that, you know, this whiskey is so special, it needs to go in a glass presentation case, in a museum style presentation case, because it's so special, or because it's a bit of a parody and no whiskey should be so special that it goes in your display case. It's like, it's, 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 it's a funny play, but I love it. But. We've not seen anything anywhere near the level of presentation of this or the Ardbeg double barrel since these releases in sort of like the mid 2000s. But this is gonna change people. And why? Well, there's one obvious reason and that can be summarized with four letters, LVMH, Louis Vuitton, Moe Hennessy. They are the owners of the Ardbeg distillery. Now, if you look in the news, they have become the first European company to hit a 500 billion pound or billion dollar market value. People, do you recognize any of these relatively small, relatively unknown brands? Tiffany & Co, Christian Dior, Fendi, Givenchy, Marc Jacobs, Stella McCartney, Tag Heuer and Vulgari. 
you, well, yeah, there's, there's a few premium brands, isn't there? You may have heard of them. But let's look at the world of drink. They own Dom Perignon, Hennessy, Belvedere, Chateau Yquem, Moet Chandon, Veuve Clicquot, Krug, Ardbeg. People, these are the biggest players in the luxury category ever. Their, their market shares beats the sort of like a, the, their next closest competitor, Hermes, by a long, long way. These are titans of luxury. Right, why haven't we had any luxury releases since then? They've got no old whiskey. When the distillery was bought by LVMH in 2004, it was pretty much in a state of disrepair. It didn't even come back onto full production until 2008. The stocks of Ardbeg were so, so minimal. That is the reason why they've had to do lots of no age statement releases while they wait for their stock to mature. Now let's assume that they started producing whiskey in 2004, it's 2023, minus 2004. They've still only got 19 year old whiskey from when they took this over. But people, the Louis V. Tom Murray Hennessy Group has just bought the Isla Hotel on Isla. They're turning it into a super premium hotel. A cask of Ardbeg just, well, last year sold, or two, depending on who you speak to, it sold last year for 16 million pounds. People, 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 they are going to push Ardbeg in a very super premium way when they have the stocks of high aid statement whiskey to do so. And that is the reason why we've not seen many other releases like this 1965, 2005. In my opinion, in 10, 15 years time, this bottle is going to be in the stratosphere because a lot of people will get behind the Ardbeg brand. This will be one of the iconic historic releases that people will need to buy. So yes, it is a lot of money for a bottle of whiskey now, but look at what the potential that it holds and look what that parent company has done for its other companies as well. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this sort of content, make sure you give the video a like and subscribe because we've got loads more interesting content about whiskey collecting and investing just like these.